So has anyone dived underwater and seen the sand that, like that? Yeah. What makes it like that? The sunlight. The sunlight. So that's light refracted. From the surface. From the shape of the surface of the water, that's right. The shape of the surface of the water, it makes like little magnifying glasses. So what it does is it concentrates light. And that's what all this line is here. That's all that refraction. Okay? So in shallow water, you're going to see all that refraction. In deeper water, you're going to see much less light. My class on Thursday, she's fantastic. Because you know what? She makes a mistake and she just goes, bleh, and paints straight over it. It's the, one of the best things I could possibly imagine. Because she's, she's lost all her fear. She has no attachment to it. Yeah, she should be right, I paint it. No problems. Okay, so there's my colours coming down the canvas, or coming down my palette from the increments. So what I'm going to do, obviously that blue's too strong, so I'll come down here and use this one. Now, this is a really lovely, lovely technique. We all know about perspective. Things in the background, or things further away, tend to be, appear smaller and flatter. Yeah? So, for example, if I'm looking at this paint pot there, that's quite round. But the further I move it away, the more elliptical it becomes and the smaller it becomes. Okay? So what that means is, up here where my refraction is, I'm going to do a series of very flat rectangles. See that? They're quite flat and quite small. Okay? Okay? So you can see that, that we've already sort of roughly created the illusion of refraction. Now to my eye, that's a little flat. If it was me, and this was a proper painting, I would actually be building this up even more like that, so that I've got a lot of busy stuff in the background. Remember I said before, don't worry about doing too perfect a gradation of colour? Having it broken just adds to the illusion a little bit. It's going to be more of the sky reflected out there. than there is in here. So who can see a suggestion there of, of little waves rolling out to the horizon? Okay? We're going to have to have a dance with this sometimes, which means that I'm going to have to push up some more of the substrate maybe, or push up more of the highlights somewhere along the line, or you know what I mean? So it's a dance. We've, we've, got, to, we've got to be willing to move with it. And so that's actually quite, we talked about conception, mm -hmm. conceptual ideas. You've created a lovely mood, you've created a lovely mood there mm -hmm. without putting a whole pile of information in. It's not a complicated picture, is it? No. It's very simple, but it's quite a powerful image. It's quite compelling in some way. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. You don't need to make a really complicated image to make a great painting. I mean, that one there, that's one of my favourite paintings, mm -hmm. and it's my, mostly sky. It's really not, there's nothing happening in it a lot. But I think that space is what makes a difference, you know what I mean? It's, it's got a mood to it that, you know. So, think of, you know, as I said, the gradation of colour as a foundation, yeah. and the little tricks and techniques, with the edges of your brush and your brush technique, as the finishing off points.